Okay, good morning. It, well, not good morning. Actually, good morning. It's 10.55 right now. I am currently going to get my car. I'm going back home for Thanksgiving break. There's a couple things that are supposed to be happening to the car. I was supposed to get the, the rim that got hit in the accident. When they powder coated it, they didn't do a good job. So I have to redo it again. I was gonna drop it off, but I wouldn't be able to get the car until Monday. So it's a bit inconvenient for me because I also have some other stuff that I needed to work on the car. I'm going to like clean up the air filter or the cold air intake filter. And then I'm going to also rewrap the interior, install the Apple CarPlay now. Finally, I am going to, what else do I have to do? I have to clean the, like the top of the car from the interior just because there's like, there was some staining on it from the previous owner. I have that to do. I was also planning on plasti dipping the back. I don't know if I'm going to do that. I'm still like indecisive. I want to go through all that effort. I'll show you right now. I'm literally pulling up to the car right now. I'm going to flip the camera. So this is what I actually, here's two things I'm interested in knowing. It's the first time it's rained. So I'm interested to see how this is holding up. Um, I was planning on plasti dipping this. I just don't know. What is my skateboard doing? Get over here. Um, I plan on plasti dipping this. I just don't know if I want to do that this weekend or if I want to postpone it. I know the sooner the better. So I'm like trying to figure that out. Um, I think the other stuff that I have to do is the wrap. I got new LED lights. I'm going to um, add LED lights to this, to this bottom portion, the puddle light, I think, or the courtesy light. And then other than that, yeah. Um, my car looks clean now. It was because it, it rained. It was really dirty before. I think I have a video of that. But anyway, um, yeah, we have a lot of work to get done this weekend. I also got um, a wrap for the steering wheel. Just you, you'll see what I mean. You'll see what I mean. This is just like a like a quick micro update of what's going on this weekend and what I have to get done. So we'll see how far I get into it. Okay, here's the first. I also actually I was gonna say this is the first start of my car because it's been a couple days but i also realized just to show you what i have to fix there's that there there's like a dot there there's some stuff there so i got some carpet cleaner there's some stuff back there i didn't even know that was there what the heck and i'm gonna try to clean it up i don't like this i wish it was black but um i don't know i might that might be a whole nother video anyway i have to figure out something for the dash just because i don't mind putting this up but it's 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 getting kind of annoying and it's a bit of an inconvenience right now but i do i don't know i saw some guy who took it off and then like put suede over it i just don't know if i'm cut out for that kind of project anyway here's my good morning car i love this i love how this just like comes out the second i turn it on let's open the window and this is a cold start I literally can't even make this up. The video stopped the second I pressed the start engine button. Okay, I see why the video stopped. The car kept overriding the Bluetooth and it kept playing music. Uh, so I didn't get to record the cold start. That's okay. Hey, good morning. I don't know if you can hear me. It is the next day from whatever happened the time before. It is very windy out, so I'm gonna try to record as much as I can. We are installing, at the package right here, the V-Line. Uh, this is the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I got this a couple days ago, and we're gonna do the installation today. Hopefully it doesn't take that long. But the one thing that has me concerned right now is, I'll show you what exactly what I mean. In the vehicle, to, to like remove the radio unit, you have to like pop off some clips here in the air vent and then you have to pull this out. That's a problem. I'm like, I'm like, po I'm like, it's the one thing that has me concerned about doing this just because I know this dash is really brittle and I've seen people like do this. I, I was watching some YouTube tutorials and people like chip this and break it. And I, I am not because uh, as you can see, I damaged my dash a little bit right here not in the mood right now to have to get that replaced so i'm like really like hesitant but aside from that yeah there's like some carbon fiber because the vehicle came wrapped already i guess the previous version did it they did a good job on like these side pieces but this centerpiece has been like peeling for a while so i'm just gonna rewrap everything most of the parts um i'm a bit nervous a bit excited 
Also, like, whoever had this car before and replaced LED lights, I don't know if you're able to see that. Let me flip it. Um, nope. Whoever had it before, I don't know if you can even see that. Um, you see how there's, like, a piece of paper in there? It's flickering also. So, I need to... I'm fixing this up. I'm just redoing whoever... Give me a second. I'm just redoing whatever... Is that one in the back? It's it's not flickering that bad. It looks worse on camera. It got me worried for a minute. Um, give me a second. I just have to rebalance that out. There we go. It's not flickering that bad. But anyway, what I was going to say was, I'm just redoing the whatever work the last person did, but they didn't do a really good job at it. I'm also going to clean out the, um, the cold air intake. I'm going to take it out, wash it, and then I bought the kit. So I'm going to do a tutorial about that also. But we're going to start with Apple CarPlay because that's like the one that everything is like encompassing right now. So let's get, let's start this long process of removing this pillar, installing a microphone up here and installing this. And hopefully I won't have to make a hole in my glove box. Okay, let me get this microphone off of here. Okay, I'm gonna place this right here. So the first thing we have to do is apparently remove the gear shift knob. Um, you're supposed to turn it counterclockwise. I, I don't, yeah, you can see right here. Uh, sure, okay, yeah. So it just... And you'll feel it come off. It literally spins right off. Okay, perfect. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay. There's something I didn't even notice. So the person who had this before wrapped the wood trim. I don't know if you can see that. Um, let me just put my hand in front of it so you can focus. Don't focus on my face. Focus on this. Yeah, the person I guess had had a wood trim. I didn't. I haven't. I've never seen the car like without the wrap. So I'm kind of excited. I might keep it like that. Um, how do I, how do you even remove a wrap? Like, is, what is the process of that? Oh, so it's like a brown wood trim. That's so weird. This is just so weird because I've never, like, my car came with the carbon fiber wrap that someone did before. So I'm not used to, the microphone's over here. I'm not used to seeing the car like this without the actual wrap. Um, yeah, I'm going to heat this up and remove it, maybe clean it up a little bit, um, re-add this wrap. I'm going to take my time. I have a couple days before I go back to school, so I'm hoping to have this all worked out by then. Um, I don't know. All right, let me just keep watching this video and then also keep you guys posted and make some mistakes for you guys so then you guys don't have to make these same mistakes. I'm not chipping my, my dash, though. Please, God, let me not ruin the dash. The dash, my dash is in perfect condition. Okay. So the next thing you have to do is the this trim right here, this trim and this trim over here, you're gonna stick something, I'm, I'm gonna move my camera right now in two seconds, but you're just gonna stick something underneath on this side and pull this way towards yourself. Um, I did get this Pry Toolkit that they had on their website. So I'm gonna be using this because I knew I, I had nothing to pry things off with. And I was like, I'm not gonna take a chance and do this. <laughs> like, they just do the work halfway and then break something. So um, yeah, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Okay, so this is the part right here that we have to like pry up, up, and then pull towards me. Come on. Come this way. Come forward to me. I think it'd make a little more sense if you could pull up from that side too. Yeah. Okay, it's like slightly coming up. and the two clips that are holding it in place. Okay, I see it. So yeah, oh, it's a little dirty back here. What the heck? I'm gonna have to clean this. I'm gonna have a couple of good amount of work to do. So here are the two clips. Yeah, <laughs> like whoever did this wrap didn't do a horrible job, but they really weren't trying that well. I hope I have enough carbon fiber wrap to rewrap most of the parts. I don't really want to have to do this another day. This one came out super easy. Yeah, this needs to be rewrapped. I was like, these pieces are okay, but I'm going to rewrap this. I don't, I'm not leaving it like that. So move this thing back. Um, yeah, move that thing back. And there's like this section over here where you have to pry it up. Um, it's this. I don't know if you can see that. 
but that right here has to be moved. I will move my camera just to, to show you a better angle of it. Um, okay, that came up. That was easy, never mind. Yeah, mine's like stuck up here, so just pry it up. Pry it up. There's these two pins right here that you need to disconnect. These pins right here. Um, I have no clue how to take these off. One moment. And here you can see all the pins, or all the clips. And there you're gonna need a Phillips head. Okay. So, just to show you on my vehicle, there's, let me let it focus. There's this pin right here. Literally just push in and pull out. Really easy, you'll feel it. And the same thing with this one, just, up. Oh, same thing with this one. Just push in and pull out. There's just two. Um, I am going to clean this with a brush just to clean this up before I even take off the wrap. I also need to repurchase this. There's like this, um, the shift lock. It's like, I don't know. I don't know why they, they popped it out and didn't place it back. I guess they lost it. So I'm going to have to redo that also. Fun. So once you, you get this far into the thing, <laughs> There's, there's those two screws right here that I will point out in one second. There is this one and this one right there that you have to pop off. I'm also going to clean this up before I re-put anything back together. I think I'm going to take Saturday to do the carbon fiber wrap. And then today I'm going to focus more on just like cleaning the car before I even install anything. Just because it is a bit of a mess. There's like, like I get it. There's a, there's a, is that a, there's a dime down there. There's another dime. Like, oh man, bro. I guess that's the one, I guess that's the bad thing about like getting a car after someone else's. You take the chance that there's gonna be some stuff like dirty in it. Um, Yeah, I mean, it's to be expected. Anyway, I'm gonna keep watching the video. I'm gonna take these two out and I'm sure these just like pull out. I will, again, make a video in two seconds about that. Let me just go get the tools that I need for this. I just have to keep everything organized now. That's one of the things I don't wanna mess up just because I'm like, it's always easy to take the things off and then you, when you have to put it all back together, you like forget where everything goes. And also dropping a screw down this whole entire thing seems like a hassle to have to find after anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to clean this out. There's like a lot of dust in there. I'm just gonna clip this onto my neck. I'm not gonna keep moving around for this. Um, let's, I'm gonna put these over here. Reminder to myself that I put these in my coin holder. Hopefully that doesn't go anywhere. All right, so what's next in this video? Literally this, this right here, you just pinch and pull and it's, and it's done. That was really easy. Okay. Well, let me close that up and yeah. I just need to be careful with the lubrication that's on here just because I don't want to like mess that up. There are four 10 millimeters right here. One, two, three, and four. All those gotta come out. I think I have a wrench. I hope I have a wrench, like one that can actually fit. Uh, let's see, okay. So you need a 10 millimeter, an extension, and then your wrench. I was like searching for this in the toolbox. Um, I will list this below if someone does watch this so they know what they need. Okay, one, one out of the way, one out of four. I have no clue where to put them. I'm gonna put them over here. Oh my God, something got in my eye. I'm just hoping I have all the tools I need just so I don't have to redo this another day because that would be such a pain to have to like come so far and then have to stop halfway. The two middle ones, so there's four in total. There's two on the outside and two in the middle. The two middle ones are so easy to come off. These side ones are not coming off at all, bro. They're like in there. Bro, I'm so confused. So I'm watching this video and this guy does it like if it's nothing. Head it, maybe it's the, wait, I think I got it. I just, I can't, I don't know. I'm gonna have to come back and figure this out in two seconds because I, I don't, I can't take it off. I don't know if I should put some WD-40 on that. Okay, it is coming off today. I got these two, we're gonna try these two. I don't know if I should go with the bigger one. I'm actually gonna go with the small one just so I can be safe. Um, I guess I, it does come off fairly easy. Do you have magical powers? I don't know, I guess it just comes off that easy. How would that even happen? I don't know. I had it. Remember, these ones that have the the yeah, they go right there. 
No, no, no. The ones that have the washer nut go on the on the sides. The ones that come off go in the middle. Right. We are progressing slowly. The next step now is to do the, the dash, which is the part that I'm most terrified about. I'm gonna move my camera put this stuff just in. a little bit over here. What? Yeah, I, there's like some. You're yeah. gonna have to use a flashlight to help me out. Yeah, I, I already see it. Look, you can already tell. Yeah, let me see a video. Imagine having an ad. Now. All right. So luckily, I had this this here to try to to do this. Um, can you use your phone's flashlight? Okay. Let me let me, let me just give you a quick update. I can show you now what I'm what you're supposed to do. Can you grab the flash? Mm -hmm. So the focus might not be the best, but just so you can understand what I'm saying. So this right here, you have to pull them down. So there's another one right here, right? And what you have to do is grab something, stick it in there in the back. Is it and um, pull it down? Yeah, so you're sticking I can't do both film at the same time and do this. But you're sticking it in there. Can you shine the light from the side header? I'm trying, bro. So like Side of those are little clips. So, right so you're gonna go. just go in here, literally right there. You're good there. You're gonna go in here, through the top of it, and you're just gonna angle it down like that. And then it's gonna, I can't do this at the same time, but you're gonna pull it all the way down to the point that it becomes this one. Like that. It will turn into, into that. it will literally just come down. So I barely almost like damaged a dash very lightly here. You barely can see it. I'll show you what I mean. Um, Right here, so no no casualties. There's like a small little dent there. You're not gonna notice that. Um, what I did was I did it from one corner. I stuck. I don't even know how to explain it. I, I really don't know. I just stuck it down here in this side, and then from the top, I just put this sideways so it didn't damage it, and then I pried it up. I used this flat side though. I used this one. I went like that through side, and then I started pulling forward, and it came out very easily. This was not a byproduct of that over here. This was not a byproduct of it. With two towels and it is getting even colder now. It was so nice earlier. Now it's just the, the temperature's dropping. Um, where is this? What the heck is this? I gotta be careful with these tools. I don't wanna sit on them and go in the seat. Okay, so we should be able now just like pull this forward. This is heavy, what the heck? Now we're supposed to unplug everything. I should have got my brother. This is definitely a two-man job. Not a one-man job. I repeat, not a one-man job. The problem about it being so cold out is that everything, you know when like, ow, everything be feeling like it's in slow motion. So this is that heavy radio, bro. Thing is heavy. Um, We got that out. But it'll be on the floor. Be going on the floor, buddy. Thank you. So now we have the actual box here. Let's open this up. And let me actually just clean up a little bit of the mess that I have here so I don't lose anything. Yeah, you really do need this. I, I ordered this off the Grom website. I didn't think I was. I'm so grateful I did. Because I <laughs> I knew I was about to make a mistake not ordering that. Dude. I would have probably chipped my dash already by then. Um, let me see what we got. So we got some paperwork. Cool. The actual device. Cool. Um, the cables at the bottom. Found the cables at the bottom. Cool. So I have no clue how any of these work. So I'm at the part where I have to connect the cables. I have no clue what any of these cables are. So I'm kind of stuck here because I don't know where any of this is supposed to go. I'm not sure what cables I'm supposed to connect. Because the video is talking about something else, and then the manual says if there's a cable plugged in, disconnect the factory display cable, typically blue, then plug in the supplied Y cable and reconnect the disconnected cable into the female plug, which makes sense, right? But like, ow, okay, good morning. It is now the next day. Um, <laughs> I'm, it's, it's a little colder out today, but it's nothing crazy. I sh should actually came out here when the sun was out a little more. It's nicer in the sun. I don't know if I'm allowed to move the car now that I've removed the radio, but 
beyond that though, what I have to figure out today is how to remove this pillar. I had a form saved where it had all like the steps by steps with pictures, but I can't find it now, which kind of sucks. Um, I'm more concerned about popping this one off too. So apparently from what I saw though, and this is what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get like um, one of like the plastic pry tools, pop this pillar open. Apparently it just comes off really easily. But there is like the weather stripping also has to come down and then I should be able to pop this out. And there's like, I forgot the little shelf that's in here. How to remove it, but let, let's do that now. Um, I should have probably brought a sweater. Now what I'm supposed to do is apparently um, pull this. Well, actually, let me pry it up first. I think he pried it up from this side. Okay, so apparently there's like, just be careful on this part because there's apparently some like tar, the specific thing that messes up your your um your pillar but i can't figure out how to pop this off i don't want to break it either is it up back down left right what are you stuck on bro what are you okay there we go i got it i got it there we go okay Popped it off, so you just, yeah, pull back on it, and then apparently, if I'm not wrong, I just want to be careful not to dirty it. Okay, I see the tar. It is, it is exactly what, it is like black. And it looks like it will damage your vehicle if you're not careful with it. In here, um, let me let it focus. I have 6%, so I'm gonna have to like record this quickly. Um, in here, you can run the cables through here, or there is a top shelf right here that you can also run it through. My concern is, I don't know how to pop that. Actually, there's a screw right here, but I don't think that's it. You should be able to pop this, this one open right here. I just don't know how to remove it. I think I'm gonna remove completely the cabin air filter just to see what I can get back in there. And then I'll keep you updated if I'm able to pop it out. Okay, quick update. So this camera has 2%, so I'm gonna have to like find out if I can, I, well, I have 1% now. So before it dies real quick, over underneath here, I was able to, re to push it back. As you can see, there's some clips. All I literally did was grab onto it and then pulled back on it. I just can't figure out how to get this out. And I don't think I have to remove the whole glove box to take this out. I think I could just pull it back, move it to the side, then pull it like that. I don't know if this is stopping me. So I'm a bit confused there. But um, yeah, that's just something to keep in mind. I will keep you posted. Just, all I know right now is I have to pull this back.